Welcome to Flash Tutorial Halloween Scene Part 7. It's a follow up to Part 6. I have that opened now on my computer. Up here on Labels, I want you to click that frame 10 on the labels. Open up the Properties panel and label this Dark Sky. copy that dark sky word right click copy it go to the library panel open up the witch complete movie clip go to the last frame on the actions panel open that up and in here paste that dark sky and put some quotation marks around it. Back to this main timeline. Scene one. Select the direct layer, directions layer, and insert a layer. Pull it down below. I think if you try to put it here, it would end up inside the puzzle. It's called Dark Sky. And on frame 10, insert a blank keyframe. And inside of it, we're going to make a movie clip. Make the stage about 25%. And now what you're going to do is you're going to pick up the rectangle tool. You want no stroke, put that up there. And for fill, you want black. And then you're just going to pick up your rectangle tool. I'm going to unlock that layer. Lock all the layers. Unlock the dark sky layer. Select that. It's still, it's still blank for you. You don't have this movie clip. And you're going to pick up your rectangle tool and you're going to make a rectangle and the rectangle is going to just cover your stage like that. Once you've done that, pick up your selection tool, highlight it, modify it, convert it to a symbol and call it dark sky underscore MC. And once you do that, you'll have dark sky underscore MC and I don't think you need to give it an instance name because I don't think we're going to write any code on that. So now you have a movie clip called Dark Sky. Double click on it and when you double click you're just going to have one frame with a black rectangle covering the stage. That's all you're going to have. And what I did was I made my stage white so I can see what's going on. So I've made it white. And if you look at it, what's going to happen is it's going to turn dark. So I just took that movie clip. I inserted the keyframe here. I left the alpha 100 here. I went back to here, clicked on this keyframe, made the alpha 0, and I put a tween in here. So that's all that's taking place here is it's getting dark. And that particular layer stays dark up to frame 129 where I inserted a keyframe. Then we have the next layer. It's the crypt. There it is there. Nothing special about it. I'm going to hide that dark sky for a minute. Nothing. This keyframe doesn't need to be there. There's no value in it. It's just when I was building it. And that crypt just stays there until we get here. At this point in time, well, I'm going to give you a close-up of this. At this point in time, we've introduced another layer. Anyway, that crypt itself, again, goes all the way up to frame 129 where I put a keyframe 
but right here at frame 58 I put in a new layer I got another layer I called it door light 1 and above that is a layer door light 2 and above that is the action script so let's go to this door light layer right here door light 1 anyway I made a symbol the same size as the door and it glows la it glows so if I look here unlock that layer right there there it is there get on that circle and get inside there there I have a arch pretty much the same size as the door if I click here you'll see click on it that this is a movie clip called door light movie clip so I have a movie clip called dark sky and inside that dark sky I have this movie clip called door light if I double click on this door light movie clip I'm gonna get rid right on that little cross and I now have a shape and that's what's in there it's all it's on that movie clip door light and then I was able to take that because it's a it's a movie clip while it's selected I went up to frame 81 inserted a keyframe opened up the actions panel and I put a filter on it okay so I selected filter and I selected blur I made it low at 9 9 and 9 and I made the glow 5 and 5 with a strength of 10 okay I mean I can change them if I make it high you get that I don't want that low so that's going to get and then I tweened it so that I get that effect on that one and then what I did was on frame 108 I just changed the glow I made it a bit dimmer see so I just made the glow dimmer and I just changed the glow on that light one add a couple more keyframes on the next layer up dark door light 2 and that's similar it starts at frame 81 much the same so I'm just gonna make just let you see that one by itself it's outside that one and what it does is takes the whole crypt itself makes it glow you can see that's done to the same way with the um, filters and I change the glow again the same way so now I have two things going on at once one's just right around the door and one's the whole arch of the crypt and finally I have an actions layer and right now in that I'm directing me to the next frame of scene one so this movie clip open bracket root close bracket dot go to and stop that's frame 11 on scene one I'm back on scene one I'm locking all the layers. I'm selecting this frame 11 of the labels, inserting a blank keyframe, and just for directions purposes, I'm going to take my text tool. Oops, I gotta unlock the layer obviously, and make an 11. Now let's test this and see what we have. We're not going to get the full effect because I have my stage white. But we'll see if it's working. See those targets we took off on the last one? They're gone. We don't see them anymore.
To save some time, I'm going to jump ahead on these puzzles. Now it gets completely dark. There's the first glow, there's the second glow, and jump to frame 11. Good. Let's select this action script layer, insert a blank keyframe. The next one, insert blank keyframe. And write stop in here. S T O P, open, close, semicolon. Copy that. And in here, paste it. I'm doing this because I may end up, I was considering putting more script on these lines. Lock all the layers, select the dark sky layer, insert a layer, call it sky end, select the frame 11, insert a keyframe. Don't worry about this one for now. Now, right now you have just a keyframe here. And just like we did before, we're going to use the rectangle tool and we're going to pick up a color, doesn't matter what it is right now, and you're going to make a rectangle. Then you're going to go to the color panel and you're going to make it a sky. And this is what you're going to make. It has it's a white on this end. It's a Norinchi red here and a red here. And then I use the linear gradient. And then I rotated it and made it fit my stage. Once you have that done, you're going again just like we did before. Highlight it. Make it a movie clip. And call it Sky End. S K Y E N D underscore M C. So you're going to make it that. And again, I don't think you need an instance name. Make sure you center this movie clip on your stage. All right? I'm not using that. I have it done. So now I'm going to go inside that Sky End movie clip. And here it is. Start with this second layer. Don't worry that it's indented right now. You just have a picture on here, one frame, and you have that red sky, and call that sky red. You have one frame there with something in it. That's all you have right now. Go up here to frame 57, insert a keyframe. Then go all the way up here to frame 185 and insert a keyframe. And then select from here and highlight all the way back to frame 1. And right click and clear those frames. So when you're finished, you won't have any red sky until you reach this frame here at 57. Don't worry about this fill frame yet, and don't worry about this mask frame being a mask yet. Lock that layer. Insert a layer. Call it mask. Lock your sky layer. Unlock the mask layer. Select frame 57. Insert a blank keyframe. Open up your library paddle, panel, select new symbol, make it a movie clip, and call it guided mask underscore MC. When you've done that, you've opened up a new movie clip, guided mask underscore MC. And you have nothing on the stage at all at this point in time. And you have one frame. That's all you have is one frame. So with that frame selected, 
open up your library panel and make another movie clip. Call this one Sparkle, S P A R K L E underscore M C. And again, I don't think we're writing scripts, so it does need an instance name. And once you do that, you'll be into Sparkle Movie Clip. So to get us back on course, scene one, we're in something called Sky End Movie Clip. Inside of that, we're inside something called Guided Mask Movie Clip. And now we're into this Sparkle Movie Clip. And I want to make this a little bigger, 100%. And I'm going to select this frame right here. And we got to find the sparkles. I don't want to see those ones. I just want to see this one. I'm going to make my stage black. It's easier to see now. And there is a sparkle right there. So you're going to start by, I'm going to make this really big here for a minute. I got to find it. At the end of this rope. There it is. It just looks like a circle now, but indeed what you do is you start off on that layer, on that first frame, and make this. You make this using your poly star tool and I think it has something like 36 but you can count them so make that on this first frame on this layer then make just this cross on the first frame of the second layer and then make this cross on a angle on this first frame of this first third layer okay so those three layers now, you will have these three things all together here on this layer. Come up here to frame 10. Highlight those three frames. Insert a keyframe. Highlight these three frames. Insert keyframes. Then go back here. Take each one of these layers and shrink them. Shrink, 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 shrink. Make them smaller. Go back here and make them smaller so you have this effect now also on this one here I believe I actually have it rotating so when I put it back here I rotated it and when I put it here I rotated it so when you got them all working together they look like this okay that's that sparkle so let's go back to this guided mask movie clip and at this point in time you only have one layer and one frame on this movie clip and that's before I put this guide layer in all I have is this one frame right now still but I have this movie clip on it so there it is if I go back to sky end we're talking about mask layer again this might be a bit confusing until you see what it does right here and I made sure that was the only layer that was unlocked that mask layer and I make my crypt visible so I can see my crypt and then when I did open my library panel and I found that movie clip guided mask movie clip I clicked it and dragged it and put it right in the center of the crypt go back into that guided mask movie clip insert a layer above your sparkles call it guide G U I D E guide select frame 30 of the sparkle layer insert a keyframe and you can just take the sparkle and just move it anywhere for just for a second just pick that sparkle up and move it then tween that and if you just tested it you would see it moving between the two points that you that you tweened lock that sparkle layer 
unlock the guide layer that you just made. Go back to that Sky End movie clip. Sky End movie clip. Play it up to where we can see the crypt. Ah, there we go. There we go. I'm up to frame 57 right now. That's where we oh my, might be able to go 50% here. Yep, that's good. 50%. And last time we were here, we pulled that movie clip in and put it here. So now what we want to do is draw the guide for that. So if I have this opened up, make sure the mask layer is unlocked. S and go up here to the house layer. And hold this click once then get that fuzzy square and drag this all the way back so that you see it come on the screen so it's at least down below frame 55 57 so there it is there come down to this this is that mask double click on that little ma movie clip that puts me inside this guided mask movie clip you have the guide layer selected start here and draw whatever pattern you wish for that sparkle to take don't cross over it anywhere and don't make no sharp turns and put it and stop it somewhere at the house go up to this frame 30 insert a keyframe that brings your guide all the way up and right now you don't have this set up as a guide you have two layers this one's called guide so double click on that layer and right now you have normal selected so click on guide then say OK and when you do that the little hammer appears in here then if you click on this sparkle bring it up to the right you can see the dotted lines here tell me now that this is a guide layer and that this is a guided layer by that guy so if you got those little dots in here you're all right and then if I look down the bottom while I'm moving my play head you can see that the sparkle is indeed moving lock the guide layer unlock the sparkle layer when you're on this frame here the sparkle the sparkle movie clip should be right on the start of that guide and when we're at this keyframe it should be on the end and if you did it right, you would have, it's hard to see this on here because of the colors, but that would be moving. There it is right right there now. It's going to go back a little bit, back, back. Let's make the stage black right now. Yeah, we're still not going to see it because we're inside that movie clip. And the last thing we want is an actions layer. So insert a layer action script. And I believe this is just a stop here. And just a stop. Go back to that sky end movie clip. Because we gotta put that house back where it was supposed to be. And this house layer right here. Click on that here. Get that little fuzzy box I call it bring that up to there frame 91 and now we're in a position to try this you didn't write any action code so there shouldn't be any action faults again to save time I jumped a hit on the video Here's the glows around the door. Crypt appears. Door opens. This is that mask we made. Very good. I think that's enough for this tutorial. Save this FLA if you plan on doing part 8. 
Hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learn.